Very good morning, students. Good afternoon, Shakshay, Chavik, Swaru, Charan, Sudiksha. Sudiksha has joined the class newly. Good, good morning, ma'am. Very good morning. Very good morning. Hey, who is that speaking in Telugu? Neeraj Santosh. Okay, children. So, Diksha, feeling? Uh, welcome to the class. But it's a let's condition. If you have any doubts, we can. Starting the session, you can text me. Want I'll send it for you. A running notes made for you, my little darlings. I'll send it for you. Just no worry. Okay, let's discuss today's topic, children. Without any delay, let's go and discuss today's topic. The part okay. of answer the following in brief. We have completed the B Roman, and we have we are entering into the C. As we have completed the lesson, you already have an idea about it. But let me explain once, and then. I'll be giving you the key. After completion of this class, I will give you the key. You can note it down in your class book as well. Okay, first question, children. Let's go and have a look at the first question. Describe what colors of the national flag symbolize. Explain the importance of the flag. Coming to this, you can see at the first page of the lesson. You can just have a look at the first page of the lesson, children. Just have a look at it. Okay, here is our national flag. Here is our national flag, children. We already told that there are three bands. We should not say them or tell them as lines. There are three bands of three colors. Each color will resemble some specific specifications. Okay, coming to the first one. As you say, it is orange, but it is not orange. We have to pronounce it as saffron. Saffron, children, a saffron band, all the three bands are same in size, length, Okay, coming for the saffron. Saffron is nothing but the orange color. What does it symbolize, children? We have already completed the fill in the blanks, choosing the evaluation part. Text me first. Akshay, I'll, I'll definitely expect the replies from you. Here, Sai Swarup, it's courage. Very good. Saffron symbolizes courage and sacrifice. It resembles the courage and sacrifice of our freedom fighters. Okay, children, let me ask you a question. I told that who has designed the national flag? Good, Ritesh. Who has 
designed our national flag children let me know replay it fast replay it quick Pingali Venkaya Garu. Person named Pingali Venkaya Garu. Designed our national flag children. Is it clear? Are you audible children? Can you hear my voice? band children it is in band and what does it symbolize what does it symbolize children a reply has been came from many of my students aksha is very good very good then i keep going What does white symbolizes? White pan symbolizes honesty, purity, and peace. Honesty, purity, and peace. Sri children, please turn on your video. Ritesh, Sri children, Amrita, Neeraj, Santosh. Yes, very good, very good at you children. Yes, here the white band resembles white, which is located at the middle of the flag. It represents or symbolizes honesty, purity, and peace. Very good, children. It's a good reply. Okay, next coming for the last and the third band which is green in color, which is green in color. The green band at the bottom represents, if you feel the word symbolizes maybe a bit tough for you children, you can replace the word symbolizes with represent. It might be easy for your standard. Okay, the green band will represent prosperity prosperity children here at the bottom of your page you can find a box and in that you can find even the meaning of the word prosperity it's nothing but growth in any aspect they are just representing the growth it might be in the aspect of wealth Sports, agriculture, exports, gold, whatever it might be, in the courage, freedom, everything, a growth in the aspect of anything is represented or symbolized by the green band. Okay, we have completed the explanation about the three colors, but you can find a navy blue wheel in the center. Navy blue wheel in the center, which consists of a 24 spoke. We have already, you already have been knowing this as your GK question. All my students are well known of it. The Ashok Chakra will consist of 24 spokes. It symbolizes righteousness. Righteousness is nothing but being morally right. Always we have to be right and we have to be truth. Right in the aspect of truth, children. had an uh, next coming first question coming for the second question
write in brief okay let's once have go to the lesson once again and have a look about and please don't get confused between a national anthem and national song for your easy recognition or a remembrance please make a table form table format and so that you can easily remember if you have the comparison between these two you can easily remember not only one both i'll see in the format of a comparison for you children see what is our national song vande mataram vande mataram is our national song coming to the national anthem jana gana mana is our national anthem is it okay okay next good good children okay coming to the part national anthem was composed by rabindranath tagore national anthem was composed by rabindranath tagore and coming to the aspect of national song national song was composed by bankim chandra chatterjee bankim chandra chatterjee here we got two comparisons between them and the third one children third one is it is composed in bengali it is composed in bengali coming to the national song it is composed by bankim chandra chatterjee in sanskrit in sanskrit we have a three points children to notice what is a national song is the first point who composed it is the second point and coming to the third one in which language it is composed children don't worry and don't think that ma'am is just explaining we can't write a notes don't worry about that children after the completion of this session i will be sharing you question as well as the answers related for the questions but just i'm giving the explanation part for you once again even though i know all my little cuties are very good at the answers and have understood the lesson very perfectly by your replies i can estimate that you are really good okay third one third question children let's have a look at it once what is the national emblem of india where was it adapted from what is the national emblem of india where was it adapted from okay let's turn to the lesson once again to have a look at it here is the description about the national emblem the lion capital as the national emblem of india see children the lion capital looks like this you can have a look at the picture let me have a clear vision for you once see the lion capital here you can observe it this is a national emblem children national emblem of india every nation has its special emblems specific emblems flags animals birds songs every nation have all of them according and respective to their countries but coming to the part of india children national emblem is a lion capital it was adapted from ashokan pillar at sarnath they have asked in the question where was it adapted from it was adapted from ashokan pillar at sarnath it has four lions sitting back to back if you see if you observe the picture here children 
you can only see three lines or else you can take uh, coins at your houses <coughs> coins at your houses the old coins may have this emblem on the back side of the coin you can find this emblem in that emblem only three lines are visible for you but children a fourth line is present it will be facing backwards to that one line will be facing back to the other they are arranged in such a form children so one is hidden from the view so one we can't see from the this direction but there are totally four lines children these lines are mounted on a circular abacus see children here you can find a circular abacus not this one children this one and just uh, pointing out with my pointer so that you can have a view at it this is a circular abacus on which all these four lions are mounted mounted is nothing but placed or situated the words satyameva jayate are inscribed below the base of the emblem here the circular abacus is there on that which the lions are mounted a words satyameva jayate are inscribble inscribble is nothing but they are written on it that word satyameva jayate means truth alone triumphs truth alone triumphs children the meaning of triumphs you can found it here or find it here a great victory or achievement that's in your words children for your easy understanding let me tell you that truth alone triumphs is nothing but truth alone wins it alone wins the emblem forms a part of all official government documents like identification documents passport voter id and currency of india you can have a look at this emblem in all of this official government documents and passports voter ids and currencies as well okay children this is about the third question let's come for the fourth question name some plants or animals that how okay this is about signs i think so no 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 this is a correct Name some plants and animals that have been adapted as national symbols of India. Does it benefit the species? How? Even though this is a long question, children, this is a. Does it this benefit and how? I'll give you a notes of it. Before that, let's have a look at it. What are all those trees, animals, birds, and plants have been taken or recognized as the nation's pride? coming to the aspect of national animal children royal bengal tiger is as our national animal and coming to the part of national bird what is a national bird peacock peacock is our national bird and flower national flower is nothing but lotus lotus is our national flower and don't confuse between national animal and national heritage animal children it is indian elephant it is indian elephant coming to the nation they have just asked in the question about only animals trees and birds not coming to the river the national aquatic animal what is the national aquatic animal ganga river dolphins only the dolphins present in ganga river are recognized as our national animal national aquatic animal see children there are three animals national animal national heritage animal 
and national aquatic animal three kinds of animals are there please don't get confused what about the tree what is a national tree banyan tree is our national tree even though banyan tree is our national tree it doesn't comes as a national fruit mango is our national fruit okay children just we had a view about these four questions i'll share you the answers of these four questions you have to make a note of them it might be in your homework or if you are maintaining your class work charvik try to sit properly it might be in your homework or it might if you have maintaining your class work and a running notes what i have sent you in that you can make a note of it children please do maintain a running notes it will be very easy because the answers for this questions are really lengthy please don't worry about it even though you have a grown up child you can concise the answer with the help of the running notes is it okay children okay i'll share you the notes for you see you children see you in the next class thank you